Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Nissan Almera Classic. The system doesn't cause much trouble, but nevertheless, you need to be prepared for the fact that you will need to solder the relay, some control and switching units. In general, relay in fuzz blocks sometimes live their own lives. Sometimes you have to juggle relays and fuzzes in search of problems. But this is after 5 to 6 years of operation. The rest of the simple system doesn't cause serious difficulties. The most serious problems are a faulty immobilizer, glitches in the car's electric fans and failures in the ABS electronics. Minor troubles with the pressure sensors of the air conditioning system and the pressure in the power steering were solved after 2008. Almost all of them are well mastered in repair and will not cause trouble when, when contacting a specialized service. The immobilizer usually requires a power reset and in case of a frequent repetition of the error, the antenna replacement. Fans suffer from the broken wiring and the ABS unit, from internal soldering and breaks in the sensor wires and the band of the wiring. The generator resource is usually at least 150,000 km only when operating in northern and especially dusty regions. Problems occur more often. And usually over everything is inexpensive to repair. The resource of the generator belt may not be too large. After 50,000 km it is recommended to check it for cracks and by 100,000 it will be necessary to replace it. But replacement is inexpensive, so this is hardly a serious drawback. The light relay on the driver's feet can be short. As a result, the smell of burning in the cabin and malfunctions of the engine ECU. The problem is typical and if the car is older than 2008, then it will almost certainly need a replacement. Loaded electrical connectors are not particularly durable. The wiring of the headlights, fog lights and rear window heating suffers from the units. From this, it is worth checking them at every MOT and of course at the time of purchase. The trunk lid wiring is surprisingly vulnerable, with frequent failures, usually broken wires inside the corrugation. On cars with a rare option for heating and the parking zone of the, wipes, of the wipers, the system control unit may fail. It turns on the heating at full strength and the glass may crack and the heating threads may burn out. Basically, the problems are minor, not affecting the capabilities of the machine, but nevertheless, they reduce the feeling of quality. The brakes are quite reliable, but the original parts do not have a good resource. The front wheel pads can only travel 20-30 thousand kilometers before being replaced. With the rear drums it is a little easier. The resource of the pads is at least 50-60 thousand, and the drums twice as long. Hoses and tubes are not a hassle, but the ABS system sometimes fails. Do not rush to repair the unit itself, often the reason is in the one of the sensors or even the wiring connector. And the power failures cause the system to malfunction. Repair the generator if it doesn't produce a stable voltage. The suspension is simple, but still a lot of hassle. Firstly, the front and rear levers are supposed to be changed only as a whole. Repairs are possible, but original components will not be available. The supports of the front stratus Struts do not come out more than a hundred thousand, and on primers, their resource is even less. And the most painful place is the shock absorbers. They are prone to leaks, after which the already poor handling of the car becomes simply dangerous. The car doesn't have the anti-roll bar, although the related Samsung SM3 does, and the part can be supplied. The parts are inexpensive, and the front levers can be supplied from a European car, for which many analogs are produced. Nevertheless, the suspension will almost require attention, and with regular trips with a full load, the resource of the rear shock absorbers is reduced to a ridiculous 15,000 km. They will flow literally after every MOT. But the problem can be solved. It is enough to supply parts made by Kiyaba or SACHS ones. But comfort and reliability will increase. This is exactly the case when the original parts came across very unsuccessful. The steering fails mainly with runs over 1,500 km. The main risks are associated with the weak anthers of the rack and the hello resource of the power steering pump. The pump begins to hum and drive the chips into the rail, after which its cuff fail. Well, damage to the anthers leads to corrosion of the rail and the rapid appearance of knocks. Let me remind you that the steering column and its joints are responsible for part of the backlash. In fact, the car has no special problems with the body, interior, electrics, suspension and brakes. Everything is done very budgetary, simple but very reliable. Yes, it's breakdowns, but not expensive. But with the manual transmission, surprises are possible. Most of the owners of Almira consider the box eternal unit and are very surprised when it breaks down. There were even rumors that the problem was an insufficient oil level in the manual transmission, but the essence of the breakdowns usually speaks of something else. Cheap bearing and poor material of synchronizers and couplings are poorly adapted to our traffic jams and frequent violations of the speed limit. A typical repair is usually is actually replacing the bearings of both shafts, replacing the second third gear synchronizers and replacing the fourth and fifth couplings. 
In addition to this, criticism is caused by the operation of the gear shifting mechanism. It doesn't differ from the assembly line with the accuracy of its work. And after hundreds of thousands of runs, the owner can feel what the driver of Icarus experience, sticking the gears by touch. Lovers of me mechanics are haunted by problems with the clutch master cylinder, the design of which is not very successful. It leaks, so when buying carefully inspect the vacuum amplifier and if there are leaks, count on a replacement. The part lends itself fully to repair. It will not only require replacement of the seals, but also the refinement of the metal surface. Oddly enough, automatic transmission is more reliable than mechanics. The Elmira Classic was fitted with the proven RE4 F03A series box. This box is pedigree even from fully hydraulic automatic transmissions and is mechanically distinguished by excellent reliability. Of course, the floating blocking of the gas turbine engine significantly reduces the oil resource during active movement and causes early contamination of the valve body, and the operating temperature is too high, but there are soluble difficulties. The box is able to travel 250-350,000 km before the first repair and has a good margin of safety. The main malfunctions are associated with the resource of the well body solenoids and cases of oil loss and overheating. Perhaps with runs of the order of 150-200,000, it will be necessary to replace the oil seal of the gas turbine engine and change the linings for its blocking, if the degree of oil contamination increases rapidly and there are leaks. With very high mileage over 500,000, typically resource troubles with the pump pickings, bushings and the rear planetary gear set are possible. As I would and I will also recommend installing a separate oversized automatic transmission radiator, for example from an Essen Toshki, or from something else to increase the oil life and the resource of the box. The only engine on the Nissan Elmira Classic is extremely good. In general, the engine series of QG motors is distinguished by a successful design, but it is the QG16DE in the family that can be called the best. The design is simple and unpretentious, as befits a mass motor. Cast iron block of cylinders, reliable piston group, timing chain drive, absence of hydraulic compensators, direct drive of the oil pump, simple and reliable injection system, and a collector. Actually, only the collector and the timing chain drive the motor. The catalysts are too delicate, and they also really do not lack long winter starts and cold weather. After five years of operation, the catalyst filler already begins to play, and the catalyst crumbles a little. The crumb can get into the piston group, causing sharp wear of the cylinders, rings, and valves. It is highly recommended to either replace the catalyst with a new one or simply remove it. You can simply put a regular manifold from the Euro 3 version of the engine and an exhaust with a lower catalyst from an older Elmira. A bad start, especially in the winter, has a lot to do with the stretched timing chain. Its resource fluctuates in a very wide range. Old motors usually run up to 150 to 100,000 km without replacement, and on machines of recent years of production, there are often cases of stretching after 70,000. Some more troubles are delivered by DP, RV, and DP, KV. The resource of these sensors is usually less than 150,000. The resource of the mass airflow sensor is slightly higher, and the gradual drop in throttle response is poorly felt. Incomplete failure is a rarity, but again, it affects the resource of the catalyst. The throttle position sensor is a consumable, it sometimes fails before hundreds of thousands of mileage. Computer, computer software surprises are almost always cured. Hardly anyone put out with a bad start for more than 10 years. Well, sensitivity to contamination of the throttle valve is a common problem for many engines. It just manifests itself in a deterioration in starting and not only in floating idle speed. On this information on the problems of Nissan Elmira Classic is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.